Hey, it's Cup Guy here. Hey, you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned and watch this entire video all the way through. I've got a lot of neat stuff on here, okay? First of all, June 18th, 1977, Elvis Kemper Arena in St. Louis, Missouri. I've got about four little small clips of Elvis singing just segments of songs. Uh, when he comes out on stage, a little bit of CC Rider, a little bit of Big Boss Man, a little bit of That's All Right, and believe it or not, June 18th, he sang Damn Blue Christmas. So I've got uh, small little uh, segments of those for you to see. Also, uh, intermingled between those clips, I went to the record show, and I'm gonna show you some of the Elvis stuff and a couple other little things that I got, but they don't last long. So in between the segments of Elvis performing, which is some really rare footage, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got from the record show. Also, I have a rare piece of memorabilia directly related to Elvis at Kemper Arena, okay? And I'm gonna show that to you. And, and as a bonus, at the very end of this video, okay? There is some super rare, mega rare footage of Elvis taken uh, June 19th, uh, the day after the Kemper, uh, uh, the Kemper Arena show, and you're not gonna believe what the footage is. So that's gonna be at the very end of the video. So anyway, stay tuned, watch this thing. Each of the segments doesn't last long, but you're really gonna trip out and it starts now. Okay, coming up right now, Elvis is getting ready to take the stage June 18th, uh, 1977, Kemper Arena. He's getting ready to walk out uh, and uh, you're gonna hear him sing just a little bit of CC Rider. So anyway, here comes the King of Rock, Elvis, getting ready to hit the stage now. Here comes Elvis Presley singing a little bit of Blue Christmas. And remember, it's damn June 18th, and he's singing Blue Christmas, and he rocks it out. Here comes the king now. Right now, Elvis is gonna sing Big Boss Man. Small segment of it, but hey, sit back and enjoy this. He does a kick butt version of this song, coming up now. Well, thank you very much, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, 
in our uh, this is a new soul and it's slightly numb. So if you see me you know turn blue um, in between words and uh, we're here to entertain you. That's our job. Coming up right now, Elvis Presley is getting ready to sing his first release. That's All Right Mama, live June 18th, 1977, Kemper Arena in St. Louis, Missouri, and here it comes. Coming up next is a little montage from the record show. Hey, Elvis Cup guy here. You are not going to believe who I ran into at the Greg Neal record show. I ran into Beetle Brad. Beetle Brad. Yeah, what's up, guys? And hey, he got some neat uh, Elvis records he's going to show me. And I said, hey, hold on, let me get the camera turned on. And you can just show me and I'll film it. So anyway, I'm going to flip this camera around and let Beetle Brad show us what he just found. Yeah, definitely. Hey, being Beetle Brad, you know I'm into Beatles, but definitely I'm into Elvis too. So look at this original first pressing. Ooh. <laughs> and so when if you guys are looking for the collect collectible one now you're saying that's the first pressing right yeah that's first pressing it's got the oh insert. wow but accidentally i bought another elvis album last week and it's got the photo of this that belongs in this album and the photo was in a really? in a three dollar album well so that's interesting photo. well that's good you found that so i got this so yeah that's and see of course i think beta rag got here before me so i, I probably would have gotten that but he got it yeah. first though so anyway <laughs> So yeah, so I got I got that. It was only uh, seven hundred and ninety-five dollars. So wow, that was, that was a good deal. See, my budget would have been five hundred. Yeah, yeah, your buddy would have been fine. So then I got this one. Oh first yeah, press. that's classic. Yeah, this is good. I, I've got both of these, but I don't have first press on. Yeah, well that's great. This was eleven $1 hundred, so that was a good deal. Yeah, yeah. Does that pesos or dollars? Uh, that's pesos. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that's first, first oh man, you got the inner sleeve too. Yeah, inner sleeve, yeah, so that's nice. Well, Beetle Brad, I really appreciate you showing me that. And hey, where we're standing, right? Let me see the light. Bonus, bonus with a record too. Oh wow, yeah, that always comes in handy too. It's yeah. hard to play those inner sleeves. Yeah, it is.
Okay, as promised, I'm gonna show you the rare piece of memorabilia that I have directly related to the June 18th, 1977 Kemper Arena Show in St. Louis, Missouri for my personal collection. And it's coming up next. All right, here it is. An original unused ticket from June 18th, 1977. You saw the footage just a little earlier. Elvis Kemper Arena. And you know what? I said St. Louis, Missouri. And of course now I see, and it was my mistake, Kansas City, Missouri, and I knew that. But I'm not gonna go back and reshoot everything. So hey, if you guys wanna leave a comment uh, and say, hey, every time you mention it, you said St. Louis, Missouri. I know, but anyway, I'm not gonna reshoot all those. So anyway, Kansas City, Missouri, unused ticket, June 18th, 1977. There's the front, okay? And there's the back of the ticket. Anyway, let me flip it back over. But there it is. And just remember, this was just a few days before the taping of the CBS special. But yeah, this is you know kind of rare because it's a ticket, uh, but it's unused. It's not a ticket stuff. So anyway, there it is. And hey guys, my bad. It's Kansas City, Missouri, not St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. And I think Kansas kind of fooled me, you know, messed me up. Uh, because you think of Kansas City in Kansas, not Missouri. And you think of St. Louis in Missouri. So anyway, June 18th, 1977, unused ticket from that concert. All right, coming up next, I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you some of the things that I got at the record show for Elvis albums and uh, one Beatles uh, record. And uh, all the Elvis albums are Japanese releases. So anyway, doesn't last long, but it's coming up now. All right, real quick, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got at the record show. Uh, so I'm gonna speed through these pretty fast. Uh, these are all Japanese Elvis albums, LPs. None of them had the OB. I'm not gonna take all of them out, uh, all the vinyl out to show you, but I've, I've got one pulled out. Just to show you, they're all orange label, okay? But anyway, first one is Elvis, that's the way it is. Okay, escape fold. Real nice condition, I believe, you know. Uh, and it's got, you know, this kind of stuff in it. Check it out. I'm not gonna go through all these. But anyway, they're, these are really nice shape, okay? Here's the back of that, all right? There's one. Number two, uh, hold on, let me get my hands on this. Okay. Uh, you'll never walk alone. Elvis, and it's a, it's a gatefold too, believe it or not. And there's that side of the gatefold. There's that side. We'll add for another two albums. And there's the back. Pretty cool back, right? Okay, you can see the Japanese writing there. 1900 yen or 1800, okay. All right, I'm hurrying up. All right, love letters from Elvis, gatefold. All right. And there's one side of the gatefold. There's the other side of the gatefold. All right. And there's the back, all right? And last but not least, there's, uh, I've got Elvis on stage. There's the vinyl, just to kind of illustrate what they all look like. They're all orange vinyl like this. And let me lay this over here. And here it is, glossy. Really not, I mean, really good quality, okay? And let me open the gate, fold up. Pretty sweet. Sorry about the damn glare here, okay? And it's got a little booklet inside. Let's well, press the on stage, February 1970, all right? Pretty sweet. Some advertisements for some other Elvis albums. And then there's the back. And last but not least, uh, let me grab it here, hold on. I've never seen this. I mean, you know, I, I I collect Beatles stuff. I collect all kinds of records, but I really like the Beatles, you know. I mean, who doesn't? Well, I guess somebody might leave in the comments they don't like the Beatles, but anyway. But this is a, a 45 extended play, seven inch record, but it's dang Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, okay? And I'm not gonna take it out of the damn plastic, but on side A, it's got Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And then uh, after that, it's with a little help from my friends, and then on the other side, since it's, you know, a long song, A Day in the Life. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was really cool, you know, and it's from England, London. So anyway, anyway, there's all the stuff that I got at the record show. All right, as promised, the rare footage, June 19th, 1977, Elvis in his limo. 
leave it. He left the hotel and he's on the way to the Lisa Marie. He's in his limo. They circle the jet. He gets out, gets on board, and there's also footage of the Lisa Marie taking off and flying off into the sunset. June 19th, 1977, Kansas City, Missouri, and the footage is coming up now. Thank you.